Well, praise the Lord once again. My name is Erika Mugisa, and today I feel led to talk about destinies. Are you aware that you have a bright future and you have a bright destiny ahead of you? And are you aware that there are some people that the enemy has assigned to steal and switch people's destinies? Well, if you're not, today I want to share with you and the Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. You have a bright future. Everyone has been designed with a bright future and a program. God has a program for each and every one of us. But the devil does not want people to know about it. And uh, every time a person is born, his star has to appear. And the spiritual people know how to read stars and they know how to tell that this person this kind of star is for a person with a bright destiny and um, once they know that uh, a star of a person with a bright future has been born some people are assigned to destroy that destiny why god has prepared destiny helpers people to help us go into our destinies so <clears throat> the enemy immediately sends his agents to come and destroy someone's destiny and your destiny is seen in form of a star so uh <clears throat> i'll give an example joseph dreamt that 11 stars had bowed before his his star which meant that he was going to be a leader but the mistake joseph made was to share his dream with the brothers and when he shared the dream he got with his brothers they plotted and uh, they planned for his downfall so many times we make mistakes of sharing our dreams visions and plans with uh, the wrong people and in most cases the people that have really fought us the people that have really fought you are relatives are people that are very close to you the enemy uses very close people and that spirit of jealousy it results into witchcraft but today i i just felt the spirit of god leading me uh towards you know uh, sharing about this because i know very many people are victims and they don't know how to uh to get back that which the enemy has stolen these are signs that someone's destiny has been tempered with you find that in a family you're educated well but uh, everyone in the family uh, is struggling in a certain area and there is this one person in a family who just gets rich all of a sudden out of the blue a person you, fa you just hear that this person is in town and throwing money this person is a tycoon but this person can help everyone else apart from the family members what the enemy does is when someone goes to a shrine in search for power and money and fame the enemy goes to the family tree and then he checks to see the destinies of the people in that one in that person's family and then he will get people's destinies from the same family and then switch give that destiny to this person who had a fake star and then get this person's fake star and replace it in that person is uh in where that that the person who had a bright future star was and then when he does that uh, he makes sure that even the light on the other star is turned off so this person begins to suffer and they cannot help you because when they help you they are going to re-empower you so when they empower you you can fight uh for that which was stolen from you so there is no way they are going to help you but there is hope because jesus came to set the captives free it doesn't matter how far and how deep they are in sorcery i want you to know that jesus jesus is the solution and he knew all the things even jesus christ when he was born his star was seen and the wise men followed the star and they went and worshipped him but herod wanted to destroy him of course it was the star of a king everyone each and every one of you has a star when you go before god and begin to claim uh for your star you you ask god to restore 
uh, to restore everything that the enemy has stolen from you. He blots out every bad handwriting that has been written against you, and then he redeems your star and he causes the enemy to pay seven times. So he goes back to that person, his family, and he gets all the seven bright stars from that family, and then he attaches them to your star, and you begin to shine brighter and brighter. Maybe you've been struggling because you're so much dependent on people.